Hi everyone, today we're going to be drawing a daisy using Procreate on the iPad. I'm going to start off by opening up a new canvas. You can see I'm just using the standard screen size because um, the DPI is large enough if I wanted to print it on an A4 or an A3. First I'm going to rotate my canvas. I want it to be vertical uh, for the composition of my daisies. Okay, I'm starting off using the Procreate pencil. I really like this pencil for sketching. I'm going to be drawing a composition of two daisies and a daisy bud. So first I'm placing the first center of the daisy and then I'm going to draw in the second daisy middle. And I'm doing this to get an idea of, of what the composition on my canvas is going to look like. See, I'm just loosely sketching. I'm not worried about getting perfect lines at this stage. I'm going to put the bud here in the upper right hand corner. And now I'm going to draw a circle to indicate the circumference of the petals on each daisy. The second daisy is a bit larger than the first daisy, and the first daisy is slightly tilted. Now I'm putting in the stems. There we go, this one is slightly curved. Now I am adding in a first little daisy leaf and then a second leaf on the second daisy. Let's start adding the petals to the daisy. Each petal is an organic shape. For your daisy to look realistic, it's important that each petal is slightly different. Um, unless you are going for more of a design daisy or a design element, um, a sketch of a daisy works really well when each petal kind of moves in their own way. Right now I'm adding my petals to my second daisy. This daisy is facing the viewer and so it's slightly larger and as you saw the center is much more circular, less oval. I'm overlapping a few daisy petals here to give a sense of volume to my to my daisy. Okay, so my daisy sketch is loosely done and I'm going to reduce the opacity of the sketch. This is so that I can create a new layer on top of it and I can start tracing the final outline before I start colouring the daisy. For this outline I'm using a, the 6B pencil because it's quite lovely and dark um, and it helps to make a kind of sketchy outline it looks very much like a real pencil 
um, and I really enjoy the effect of this uh, when sketching on an iPad. Okay, I'm just now correcting any loose lines that I had on my initial sketch and I'm just going over everything, adding a few things, a few petals to the sketch. Okay, so I'm just hiding my base layer just so I can see what my upper layer looks like. Right, let's speed it up a bit. Great, so my daisy outline is complete. And now what I'm going to do is create a new blank layer. And I'm going to drag that layer underneath my final outline sketch. This is where I'm going to be adding color. I'm going to choose the painting wash brush on Procreate, adjust the size, just have a look at the texture. I'm trying to keep my brush quite small so it's easy to fill in those petals. And I'm going to start off by working on the shadows on each petal. So I'm choosing this blue this muted blue color and I'm going to start working into each petal that's a bit large it's a bit dark so there we go I'm going to start working into each petal to create shadow areas I'm just working with simple lines at this stage let's speed this up Each petal has shadows which come from the center where the petal meets the middle of the daisy and slightly on the edge of the petal at the end. And some petals have a line of shadow along them which represent the folds or the creases, the natural creases in the petals. Now I'm going to start colouring in the stems and the leaves using this subtle olive green. I'm still using the gouache brush to fill in these lines. Once I've got that base green down, I'm going to select a bit of a greeny brown, which I'm going to add onto the stems and 
under the petals in order to create a shadow and under the leaves here. This gives it a slightly more organic, natural looking colour. Now I'm adding a more lime green to increase the effect of highlights or three-dimensionality on the stems, the leaves, the bud. This also helps to give the stems and the leaves a more natural, varied appearance. I really like the painterly effect of the gouache brush and the way that you can layer various tones and colours on top of one another to create an almost realistic painted effect. Right, now I'm going to start working into my petals using a slightly off-white, but what I want to do first is create a new layer with a background colour. For this I'm going to choose a very pale blue. I'm going to drag it behind my skirt. This will help me when I'm painting the white, the off-white colour into my petals. It'll give me a better idea of where the petals end and where they start and help me to make sure that I've got the highlights in the correct place. So here I'm just working the white, the off-white colour into the petals next to the shadows. I'm trying not to go over the blue areas um, that I initially put down on each petal. Now you can use your smudge tool to start blending the blue and the white. You don't want to lose the effect of shadows, but you can kind of blend it so that there's a smoother transition from shadow to light. This gives it a slightly more finished appearance. The smudge tool works by moving the color that you've placed your finger on. So if you are wanting to smudge two colors and you don't want to lose out on the shadow, it's better that you drag from the shadow into the light. And that's what I'm doing here. So now we're going to choose an orange colour for the centre of the daisy. I want quite a fresh orange colour. However, I want to start off with a darker orange for the shadow um, within the centre of the daisy. I like to have a bit of a dip in the centre of a daisy. So here I'm going to put the shadow, the darker orange, and then I'm going to work around the edge. Then you can choose a paler yellow with more white in it and you can start working over the highlight area on each daisy center. I'm just working in little circles to help with the blending. 
Next, I will use my smudge tool again to gently smudge the, the darker orange and the lighter yellow together without losing a sense of shadow and a sense of highlight. I also really like the painterly feeling of blending these colors together. Working a bit more of my darker orange into my daisy center here. Now using a darker green, I'm going to start adding in some little details. I like to draw in a few leaf veins. Let's not forget about our daisy bud on the right hand side. I'm going to be filling in that same off-white colour into the little unfurling petals and adding some yellow to the base of those baby petals. I'm then going to use my smudge tool again to smudge in or blend the colours. You can add some final sketchy line work to your leaves, to other areas of your daisy. It really is up to you how much or how little detail you want. I quite like the fact that this makes it appear a lot more sketchy, a lot more like a real drawing, a real traditional artwork. There we go. Now I'm going to add a pale yellow to my leaves just to give some little spots of lightness. Not only does this pull in the colour of the centre of the daisy into the rest of the artwork, but it adds variety and creates a bit of interest. For the background effect of this drawing, I'm going to create a new layer which I will move behind my drawing. I'm then going to choose the watercolour brush and a very bright cerulean blue. I'm going to increase my brush size, make sure it's quite large. And then I'm going to just do a simple swash in the background. This really pushes the daisies out and it's a lovely design element to include. Finally, sign your name and there we have it. Daisies on Procreate. Please like and subscribe for more weekly Artsy D art tutorials. Thanks for watching.